Number 37 is a right kick. We have the left kick already. So the right kick is doing the same thing, only use the right foot. Okay. So let me show you. We have a, a punch. No. Okay, so not much new. What you uh, what you do is after the punch, you are in a left both stance. Right? You lift the toes of your left foot, turn 45 degree open. Okay, then move your body to your left foot. Take the right foot. Then you stand up, lift the knee of your right leg, then lift the toes of your right foot, then kicking using the heel of your right foot like, towards east. And your two and your two hands, okay, as you lift the to, uh, toes of your foot and open, so your body slightly turn to left, okay, and your two hands open to the left, to the right, and the, the fist of your right hand open to a palm. Then they move in front of your abdomen, make crossed hands as you take the right foot close to your left foot. Then you stand up, then just do the kicking. Okay, so Basically, we are doing the same thing as the left kick, use the right foot. Okay. Number 38 is a left hit tiger, and number 39 is a right hit tiger. So they are the, uh, basically the same, but down in different uh, direction. Okay. Let me show you. So after we have a right kick, so as you can see, they are same, but done in different direction. First, for the feet movement with a right kick we have uh, the left foot standing pointing to north east okay and the right foot so you drop the right foot down and uh, put uh, put down on the ground close to your left foot first touch ground with toes first then the heel Okay, but the toes pointing to north. Okay, so basically the two feet are like 40 degree uh, to each other. Okay. So the uh, toes of your right foot pointing to north and the heel pointing to south. Then you put down the heel of your right foot on the ground. Then you move the weight of your body to your right foot. Then lift the left foot. And your body turn to right or to left. And your body turn to left. So you're facing north, west. Then you step your left foot towards northwest, touch ground with heel first, then move your body to your left foot, make both steps towards north west. Okay, so that's follow. Uh, left hit tiger. Then you continue with right hit tiger. So what you do is you lift the toes of your left foot, then turn it in. Like uh, so, when you put the toes of your left foot down on the ground, it's pointing to east. Okay. Then you lift the right foot. Take it close to your left foot, then your body continues to turn to right. So you are facing 
south east, and then you step your right foot towards south east, touch ground with heel first, then move your body to your right foot, make right both steps towards south east. Okay, then you finish the right hip tight on these both steps. So basically, the uh, two feet moving from a uh, right kick to a left bow stance and a right bow stance. Okay, so, um, so let me show you again here. So the right foot put on the ground, so the foot pointing to south uh, to north, and you move body to your right foot, take left foot, step your left foot towards north west, and make both stands. Then you lift the toes of your left foot, turn it like a hundred thirty-five degree. So it pointing to east and lift the right foot. Your body continue turn to right, then step your right foot towards uh, southeast, then make a both stand towards southeast. So that's how you move your um, feet, now the body and hands. Okay, um, the left hip tiger we done. Uh, this way, but uh, I will explain to you this way so you can have a good view. So if suppose we are right kick is here, then the left uh, left hip tiger. What you do is first you drop down your right foot, okay? Then your body sitting down like. A, uh, because with uh, kicking, our body always stand up, right? So you need to sit down, and as you sit down, your right foot put down, touch ground. With toes first, like I said, like uh, uh, pointing to north and the heel pointing to south. So it's your two feet has 45 degree to each one, right? So, uh, your right foot touch ground, first toes, then heel, then move your body to your right foot. And your two hands, as your body roll down, sit down, your two hands go down, but the left one go fast, and the right one go slow. So, when you uh, finish your um, uh, touching ground with your right foot, your two hands is in this position. Okay. So the right one still here, of course it's follow your body's uh, sitting down, so the right hand is also moving down. Right? And the left hand is going here, like to meet the right hand. And your body moving to your right foot, and the lift the left foot, and your body turn to left. Okay, so your two hands follow your body, turn to left. And you now you are facing uh, here. We should say north west, right? So you are facing north west. Now you 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 step your left foot forward. Okay. And your two hands at the same time continue moving downward to the left. Okay. So your two hands moving downward and to the left. And as you your left foot already touch ground, okay. your left hands moving above the knee of your left leg. See, going this way. And the left hand moving fast, then right hand. So the right hand moving slowly, and left hand moving faster. So your body continue turn to left, 
and uh, um, to you, your body turn to a position that you have no more room turn to the left. When I say you have no more room turn to the left, means you cannot, you cannot, uh, uh, you are not able to move your waist to the left. Okay, uh, so you must turn back. Okay, so you, you, you cannot continue turn your body to the left. If you continue, then your shoulder will go beyond your waist. I mean, you should always keep your shoulder and your waist turn at the same time. Otherwise, don't make a turn. So you have no more room turn to the left, then your left hand start moving upward. Of course, it's moving in a curve. Okay, so the left hand moving upward, and uh, your body starts to move forward to your left foot to make a both hands. Okay. So what I mean is like that. Okay. Now my left hand moving upward, my body moving forward. When you finish moving your body forward to make a complete uh, both stance, then your left hand turn. Uh, left hand turn into a fist, right hand also turn into a fist. Okay, then the, the arm of your left hand rotate, so the, this part start facing downward. Okay, not directly going downward, slide to the uh, right. Okay, so it's going see, this way. Okay, so as your body Continue turn to left, your hands turn to left. Now see your body moving forward. You starting moving up, moving up, and moving back to in front of your body. Okay, so so it's moving upward, rotate, and moving backward. So it arrive in front of your body, like a fun in front of your uh, head. Okay, and the right hand also changing as your body moving forward, the right hand also changing into a fist. But it's moving slowly. So when you finish the both stance, when you finish moving your body forward, your two hands okay, meet each other in front of you. So uh, it's like the left hand, like holding something, like we say, hit tiger, right? Like a holding tiger, and the right hand hit it in front of your body. Okay, so uh, that's the left hit tiger. Okay, so uh, your left fist is about your your eye level, and uh, the right one is below here, and these two facing each other right here. Okay, so that's the left hit hike. Okay, so if we are, if we start here, then it will be like that. Okay, then you continue with right. Hit tiger, and what do you do? Like I said, you lift the left um, foot, the toes of your left foot, then turn 135 degrees. Okay, turning so your your left foot facing east. Lift the right foot, take it close to your body, and your two hands open, changing into a palm again and facing each other, the two hands, okay? Then your body continue to turn to right, then you step your right foot forward, okay? Then your two hands, the right one now go fast, the left one go slow, and the right one go above your right 
knee, go right, go over your right knee, then your body continue turn to right. When you have no more room, turn to right. Now you are ready to move your body forward and your right hand go up, like moving up in a curve, changing into fist. Rotate. So when you finish moving your body forward, make complete uh, uh, right both stance, your two hands is in this way. So the right one is above the left one and they facing each other like that. So that's the right hip tiger. So there are many things you need to pay attention for left and the right hip tiger. The first one is when I already said, like, uh, uh, start from the right kick, and you need, uh, you need to sit down your body so your right foot gently reach the ground. Okay, so you don't just put your right foot, touch it ground without your body gently sitting. So, sitting and while you lower down your right foot for a while. And the uh, second point I want to say is like you, your body, uh, once you move your body to your right foot, okay, you start turn your body to the left. Now you need to keep the knee at the same direction as your right uh, foot. Okay, so you don't want to turn your knee with your body. So keep the, the knee of your right leg point same direction as your right foot, but your body continue to turn to the left by open your body. Okay. And the third point I want to say is, uh, as you put your right foot on the ground, don't hurry to move your body towards your right, uh, left foot as you put the left foot on the ground. Okay, you need to continue turn your body to the left before you move your body forward. Okay, so you just stay your body with your right, uh, stay your body on your right foot. Continue your body turn to the left until you have no more room to turn. Then you start moving your body forward to your left foot, okay. And uh, another thing you need to pay attention is your, your body turns, so your shoulder and your wrist turn together. Okay. So you see, you, you turn your body to the left by this way, okay. So you don't just turn your shoulder without turning your wrist. So you should and your waist should always in the same alignment. Okay. So as you have to uh, turn your waist to your left and the normal room to turn, then you don't turn your shoulder. Okay. So that's the point where you need to uh, turn back to the right and move your body forward. Okay. Then uh, another thing you need to pay attention is uh, like uh, synchronize your hands and your your body move. So when you finish the both stance, your hands and your body all finish at the same time. So your left hands moving to the left up and go back in front of your body, and the right hands moving slowly so they can be finished at the same time. Okay. Um, let me see if uh, 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 another thing you need to pay attention is when you raise the fist, okay, you keep your el shoulder and the elbow dropped so you don't you don't want to say raise your elbow and your shoulder. Okay, so keep them dropped but just raise your fist. So when you finish, the elbow still, what do we see? Dropped, they are pointing to the ground. Okay. 
not be left and pointing to left and the right. Okay, so the left and the right basically the same thing, but they are done in different direction. So uh, the turn from left to right is very big. It's starting like you're pointing uh, north west. Now you make the turn pointing to east. Okay, at, at you making this turn, like you don't move your body back to your right foot. You keep your body like seventy percent of your weight on your left foot while you are making the turn. Okay, the legs, your right leg, so it's easy to make a turn. Otherwise, uh, it will be difficult. So, uh, right here, so you make a light turn, then lift the right foot, take it close to your body, then you continue make a right turn, then you step forward. Okay. So, your turn should be uh, finished without moving your weight backward forward. Number 40 is a right kick again. Okay. Uh, in Chinese, it's called Hui Sen Deng Jiao. Okay. Translated into English, it should say kick back or move back, then do the right kick. Let me show you. So after we have uh, the right hit tiger, then what you do is Okay, so same thing as we did left kick, right kick. Okay. The only thing you need to uh, um, know that's new in this move is that uh, after we have a right uh, hit tiger, so if I'm show you this way, okay, we are in this kind of uh, posture, then for the feet, movements, what you do is you use the bow of your left foot as the turning axis, okay, and the turn the heel of your left foot in, so it's 45 degree, okay, uh, if I'm here, then it will be, the, after you turn the heel, of your left foot, then the left foot is 45 degree pointing to northeast. Okay. So if I'm here, then you, you use the bow of your left foot to make a turn. Okay. So turn the heel in. Then you move your body to your left foot. Lift the toes of your right foot, then as your body turn to uh, left and move to your left foot, then lift your right foot, take it close to your left foot. Before you stand up, then complete the right kick. So that's the only thing new. Uh, your two hands. See, as your body uh, turn to left foot, your two hands and the fist open, and the, the left hand just follow your body to turn, to turn to left, and the right hand moving down, go in a curve, then as you take the right foot close to your body, your right hand also moving close to your body and make the cross hands in front of your abdomen before you stand up, then do the kick. So this one uh, is just a normal kicking. The only difference is the start point.
Number 41 is uh, strike the ears. Okay. In Chinese, song feng guan er. Uh, um, let me show you. After we have uh, the right kick. First, for the feet movement, we have a right kick supporting our body with the left foot, right? Now, you um, lift the tools of your right foot and the turn 45 degree. So now your body facing southeast. Okay, when we do the kicking, we are facing east after you make a return, now your body facing southeast. Then you sit down and step your right foot towards southeast, then make a right bow stance towards southeast. Okay, so that's the feet movements for strike a years. And uh, the hands. The hand were here. So first, you drop the uh, foot, right foot down, and uh, keep the right, the knee still lift. And your two hands moving in a circle, and arrive above the right leg. Okay, if I'm show you this way, you drop down the foot, your two hands moving in a circle, right above the right knee, and the palm facing up, so they rotate, so the palm both facing up, and now uh, you make a turn while your two hands drop down, your foot drop down, okay, so you make a turn, and you, your body continue sitting down and you step the right foot forward towards the southeast. Right? As you like uh, as you sitting down, you step forward, you put the heel of your right foot on the ground. Okay. Your two hands continue drop down. Two hands follow your uh, body sitting down. So your two hands continue, drop down. Then they rotate. See, see, rotate this way. And the two palms changing into two fist. Okay, so changing into a fist. Then so your body moving forward to your right foot, make the bow stance. Your two fist moving upward. In a circle, of course, like uh, uh, if I directly facing you, it will be like that. Good. See, like that. You're sitting down, step forward, and your hands changing into a fist. As your body moving forward, your two hands moving upward. And uh, then they go into a circle, then they meet each other in front of your face. And it's about your, the ear of your opponent. Okay. So going this way. The sense you need to pay attention to uh, strike the ears are uh, the first from the right kick, your two hands drop down they must go in curve, okay? So you don't directly drop two hands down. Okay, like they must go in a curve and they, they are down while your body sitting down, okay? And while you are dropping your the right foot down. Okay? So they don't, they don't go directly like that. And the second, thing you need to pay attention is you 
after you made a turn, you must first continue sitting down before you step your right foot forward towards the southeast. Okay, so uh, what we call this um, principle is that uh, you are sending the foot by sitting down your body. When you sit down your body this way, you are sending the foot forward. Uh, so right here, see, uh, you are sitting down and step the right foot forward. So that way, like uh, your step is light. Okay. Uh, it carry no weight of your body uh, while you are stepping forward. Then the third point you need to pay attention is you are too, uh, as you are too, uh, the two fists like dropping down okay, before it's moving upward, like moving first of the separate to the left, to the right, then moving upward. Try to avoid like, uh, holding your elbow backward. I see many people do this, we say. That's wrong. You need to keep your two elbow job as you start to moving your two fists upward. So basically your two fists drop in and separate uh, beside your right knee okay, so to the left, to the right. Then rotate, then as your body, see, as your body moving forward, they moving upward, and then uh, finally they finish this. When they finish tuck your two arm, they should be make a circle. Okay. So also check the elbow. Don't be pointing, I don't be lift. So they still need to be dropped. And the fist, they are not directly facing each other, slightly or oblique facing each other this way. Okay. And uh, another thing in the pay attention that's, and uh, it's very important is synchronize your movement of your body and uh, rotating your arm and moving your fists. So they should all finish at the same time. Okay. And also keep in your mind when you move your two feet upward, don't like move your body upward. Okay. Actually you move your two feet upward by uh, by uh, energy or by by the power that your body press the ground. Okay. So first, like here, like your two fists drop down, right? So your body also sitting down, press the ground, and as your two fists moving upward, you need to think about that. I mean, your body still press the ground, so sending the force of the energy to your fist so they move up. So that way you try to avoid like your, your body and follow your two fists uh, like moving up. Another thing about uh, striker ears uh, is that I explained that we make the turn by using the heel of left foot as turning excess. So lift the toes, make a turn. But if you read the book, 
the book said use the bow of your left foot as the turning axis, make the turn. So this is uh, different than what I heard from my teacher, Master Yuan De Han. Based on Master Yuan, um, what she actually learned from Grand Master Fu Zhong Wen uh, was like using the heel of your left foot as a turning axis. So it could be a typo when Grand Master Fu Zhong Wen wrote the book. After strike the ears, number 42 is a left kick. Okay, so what we do is uh, okay, so basically it is another kicking, uh, not much new. The only same new is the starting point. So with uh, the strike ears, we are facing uh, southeast. Now you lift the toes of your right foot, turn uh, to the right, so it's uh, pointing to south. Then you move your body to your right foot, lift the left foot. Then you stand up, lift the knee, lift the toes, then kicking towards east. So that's how you move the uh, feet and uh, kicking. And the hands are here. So as you turn your body to the right, your two hands more, uh, separate to the left, to the right, and the two feet open to palm. And as you lift the left foot, take it close to your right foot, your two hands uh, moving in a circle and arrive in front of your abdomen and make cross hands. Now as your body stand up, your two hands go over your head and separate to the left, to the right. So this one, not much new, just uh, another left kick. Number 43 is another kick, but this one, you make a, a big turn before you do a kick. So it's a turn and a right kick. Let me show you. We have a left kick here. Then what you do is okay. So like you see, we make a turn, start facing uh, east, and finish also kicking towards east. So that's a very big term. Um, how can you do that? Is you are standing on your right foot. Now, this time you lift heel of your right foot. You use the bow of your right foot as the turning axis. And uh, um, your left foot swing. Okay, as your body make a right turn. So your left swing, and then your left foot touch ground just beside your right foot. Okay. And you touch ground with two first, then the heel. Okay. So uh, when you do that, is In this way. Okay. So as you finish the turn, you touch ground with toes first, then the heel, and you move your 
your weight of your body to your left foot than lift the right foot. Okay. So if I show you again, it will be okay. Then lift the right foot, then lift the knee, lift the toes, and using the heel of your right foot, making the kicking towards uh, east. The direction we start with the kicking to the east, but the right foot standing pointing to south. Right? And you make the turn, after you're making a turn, the left foot should be uh, pointing to northeast or pointing to north. Okay, so so you can uh, standing the left foot and make the right kicking towards the east. Okay, and and the, as you finish the turn, like I said, you use the toes of your left foot swing, make the turn, right? So the toes touch ground first, then heel, then you move your body, the weight of your body to your left foot. As you move your weight to your left foot, you slightly sitting down. By sitting down, then you lift the left foot. Okay. Then you stand up, then make the uh, right foot kicking. Okay. So, let me see you again. Your two hands now uh, here. Right? So as you drop down your left foot, your two hands moving close to your body, and they make the cross hands in front of your body. This is the right hand outside, left hand inside, and then you make a turn. Then your body like uh, first as you shift the weight to your left foot, your body slightly sitting down, lift the right foot, lift the knee, and then your body stand up, and then finish the right kick. Okay? So, the difficult is, of course, try to maintain your balance. Number 44, number 45, number 46 are all uh, movements that we already discussed. So they are deflect, parry, punch, then like seal, like cross, then cross hands. Just like we already discussed uh, in number 12, 13, and 40. So nothing new. So. Uh, I will show you after we have a turn and a right kick. So deflect, parry, punch, and seal and close. Then cross hands. Okay, so these three movements are uh, the ones that we already discussed. Uh, nothing new. The only thing you need to pay attention uh, is new is the starting point. Because we start from the right kick, and in any kicking, our body is standing up so we need sitting down okay so as you drop the right uh, drop the hands drop foot your body sitting down before you continue with the deflect padding and punch okay other than that it's exactly 
the same we have repeat, uh, we have uh, discussed in number 12, 13, and 14. So this part we are discussed uh, from number 37, right kicking, to number 46, cross hands. Okay. Now let me put everything together and show you. So uh, the left kick we start from the then number thirty seven right kick then hit tiger to the left then hit tiger a right, then a right kick, strike the ears, and left kick, then a right kick, then deflect. Parry, punch, and seal, and close.